Hi there, and thanks for joining me again for Q&A Saturday. I am Alison Beer of alisonbeer.com, where I work with adults who want to reignite their creativity, learn to look at life through a light-hearted lens, and do this by drawing their very own cartoon characters. Today we are doing a third part of our series about ground lines, stopping things from floating away, and giving things context and depth. And so today we are looking specifically at context and the importance of storytelling when you are illustrating absolutely anything. So here we are back with our little isolated character just alone on the page. The last two weeks we've looked at how we can use ground lines to get rid of the floating effect in this picture. We've also looked at how we can add some depth to the picture. And now we have a third thing that we're looking at, a third problem that this a picture like this presents. And the problem we're looking at this week is the lack of context. So even if you add some depth, even if you stop this little person from floating, there's still no context, no story being told by her. And so we need to look at what is the possible solution for this. And as always, there are a couple of solutions. The first one is we can put a room behind her, just as we put in a ground line in last week, and, and some walls. We can fill that up with a few more parts, which make it more obvious that it's a room and that tells a story. We can also look at proper scenery behind her. And then we can look at the use of props. So let's take a look first at putting a room behind her. And here you can see the bones of what we worked with last week, where we put in these, um, the corner and the bottom of the walls like this. And here you can see I've just put in some crisscrosses here, almost like some hatching, to give a sense of perhaps French doors in the background behind her. This is a picture on the wall here that we've got, and there's this little ornament, I guess, just to give a sense of something going on behind her. So that's how you can very, very simply put in a few lines and give a sense of what is happening, what is she up to, what is the story that she is part of. Similarly, we can do something outside. So let's take the same person, pop in a background here. So here she is standing on the pavement. There's a hedge behind her, and behind the hedge we've got some trees and various layers of trees, and this gives us a sense of depth with the pavement going like that, the trees and hedge stretching behind her, and again, this gives her immediately a context, a story to be told, a sense that there's something going on that you are going to explain through either captions, speech bubbles, or something else that you're going to do, perhaps the next panel that you draw, or something that you add to this. The third and final thing that we can do to add some context to our little character is again to have her in some sort of a room and to add props. So we've got our very basic room with the, the ground lines and the corners to show the walls and I've given her a tennis ball and a racket and as you can see that then again starts to tell a story. So this moves us towards the whole purpose of why are we drawing anything in the first place. We're drawing because we want to convey a story. Cartooning or illustrating is all about the story behind the drawing. It's not just about putting marks on paper. It's what you're trying to convey and what happens next, that sense of excitement and anticipation for your viewer. And so that is what we have been looking at today. As you can see, context adds an enormous amount of depth and richness to whatever it is you're trying to draw. And you can't do without context if you are looking at trying to tell a story. Everything that we draw is about storytelling. So get stuck into backgrounds, whether it's rooms, whether it's outdoor scenes, or whether it's adding props to things, because they will add an exciting and enriching element for your viewer. And that is really what you're looking at doing. Did you like this video? I certainly did. Please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel there and share it with anyone you think might find it interesting. And if you would like even more tips, things that I only share on email, please head on over to my website www.alisonbeer.com and sign up there for email updates. Keep drawing. Just 15 minutes a day, a tiny little bit can add up to a huge amount of progress over the long term. I'll see you next time on Q&A Saturday. Thank you so much for watching.